see what specifically is indicated on Section 8, Division 1 for material requirement. You should know, as we said, of the content of the ASME Section 8, Division 1, you have the UG, and then you have the UW, and then you have a UCS for this material. So there is a material requirement on UG segment, and also there is a material requirement on the UCS segment. So you have to consider both of them. We are going to first review what is the requirement for SA516 grade 70 on the UG segment. And then we, when we cover that, we're going to go to the UCS segment to see what's the material requirement for that material. UG5 on general requirements says the plate material should be selected should be from A section 2, part A and B. So if ferrous material, which is going to be like this one, is going to be from part A. If this has alloy, then we have to go to the part B. So what it says actually in here says should be A semi material. Anything that you can see, it should be SA material. So should be selected from the A semi section 2, part A for this carbon steel material. And then on UG5 refers you to the UG23 for maximum allowable stress value. You know what is the maximum allowable stress value, right? Tensile divided by 3.5, tabled on the ASM section 2 part D. So here UG5 sends you to the UG3, UG23, and UG23 is sends you to the ASM section 2 part D to go and read allowable stress. Okay, this is very common things in ASME Section 8, Division 1. I mean, in all ASME codes. It sends to the one paragraph to the another paragraph, and you go to the, the, that paragraph, it sends you somewhere else, and somewhere else sends you to somewhere else. But we're going to make this practice to know what's going on, on in terms of the information that we're looking for. Here we are looking to see what's the UG requirement regarding the plate. It says first requirement, section 2, part A, you have to pick from there. And then says you need the allowable stress for wall thickness calculation, right? So go to the UG23, and UG23 sends you to the ASME section 2, part D, to on your corresponding design temperature, pick your allowable stress, and you know what's the allowable stress. A stress is lower than tensile and absolutely lower than yield point, which is um, tabled and indicated on the tables on ASME Section 2, Part D. UG23 refers you to the Section 2, Part D, as I indicated, and there's a note on UG5 says the terms played for purpose of this usage includes sheets and strip also. So, to the certain wall thickness, they named it plate, and after, uh, less than certain value, they named sheet. Just an just explanation here. Uh, extra information was one times is one of questions if the sheets is included in, you know, as a requirement of the ASME material. That's the answer is yes. Now we covered the requirement of the UG part, which is the UG5 for plate material. Now we're done with that. We're going to the UCS segment, which is a specific requirement for carbon steel material. And on UCS 5A, as you can see in the screen, says shall confirm to the Section 2 the same things that was in UG general requirement and limited those listed on the table UCS 23. You can see the table UCS 23, right? It says your material first condition should be from the Section 2, which is the Part A or Part B, and limited to this material. It means on UCS, you can't pick any material other than this table. And make sure, obviously, all of these material in the table that you can see in my right are in the section two. There's a no doubt about that. All of the material you can see in the table in my right are in ASME section two, part A. Okay? And only there might be some material over there which is not in this list then you can use them you can't use them you are allowed to design your pressure vessel based off only the material are in the screen that you can see on the table ucs-23 can you see my material sa 516 grade 70 i circled that okay there's a red line 
as you can see SA516 grade 70 is located on table UCS23 then I can use this material for my pressure vessel now let's see uh, another requirement regarding the material on I'm, I'm going back to the UG UG4 B says non-pressure parts such as skirt support baffles logs and clips need not confirm to attached or permitted material specification so if I'm having the legs in here it's not necessarily need to be uh, you know allowed material it can be something else but need to be a weldable quality and in coming slides you know in, in the next segments we're gonna explain what is mean weldable quality there's a some uh, you know it's a general and we need to know what considered weldable quality but not considered weldable quality what it says in here it says need not to confirm to to attach or permitted material but needs have the weldable quality i can use this thing something other than those material listed on the table but should have the weldable quality and we're going to discuss what is the weldable quality so this was another requirement and if you see the table that i used uh, i showed to you and it's in your handout is is some un material added now in end of the third column okay and you can see this un material which is is beside of the a semi material okay previously they weren't there they added that uh, you know recently so then we can use those European materials so it was a very major issue so in the Europe normally okay they had uh, lots of order based off the European Union pressure equipment directives they had the plates over there but they couldn't use that for a pressure vessel a semi pressure vessels when they uh, received an order for a semi pressure vessels so they had to use the UG10 to recertify them as a asymmetry material okay we have a process how we can you know use the non asymmetry material as an asymmetry material we need to recertify that so they had to go to a process now asymmetry recognized those european material they put those specification on asymmetry section 2 part a and also put it in this table so now they can use the you some of the un material for example saen 128 previously not allowed but in the table you can see in my right there's a small screenshot from the table ucs 23 and you can see that's material now can be used which is i think is equivalent to the sa 516 uh, grade 60 this is a grade 70 i think that one should be almost equal to the grade 16 if i'm not mistaken but another requirement we want to discuss in here we are still in the ucs says ucs 6p says the material like sa283 grade a b c and d and sa360 no for lethal services on fired steam boiler and no when the thickness is more than 0.58 inch or 16 millimeter okay we had a table UCS 23 and if you remember this material that we indicated in these phrases they are there okay we can use this for our pressure vessel but when it's when it's not when when it's not the service is not the lethal services so I can use SA283 grade C also is, is used a lot in pressure vessel it's cheaper than SA516 grade 70 I can use this material for pressure vessel but if my service is a toxic substance I can use this material okay I can't use SA283 whatever is grade is A, B, C, D I can use when the, my service is toxic which is as the same of the lethal services or when there's an unfired steam boiler I can't use this material and or when our designer our service is not lethal our service is not we are not on fired steam boiler it's a regular pressure vessel and there's a pressure temperature our designer makes a calculation and find out the wall thickness comes as a one inch then he cannot use SA283 it's limited to the wall thickness of the 
5 8 inch or 16 millimeter so it means they are not very good material right i don't want to go to see what's wrong with this material you can it's on the process of the manufacturing a different process of manufacturing but we should know what's the requirement right we're gonna we're not gonna use sa283 for lethal services or when the thickness is more than 5 8 inch or when it is the uh, you know uh, unfired steam boiler so the Next thing we are going to discuss in here, you can see uh, what I explained about the SA283, grade A, B, C, and you can see in the screen, where is my material with the red and the one it's with the blue is SA283, grade A, B, C, D. It's listed, it means you're allowed to use it, but with the sum limitation as I explained on previous screen. Okay, now let's move forward with the forge.